Two nature-based movements to improve the health of our planet and its human residents are urban greening and blue foods. New research shows that blending these colorful concepts for our coastal cities can reap big rewards. On the green side are seagrass meadows, the Earth's most widespread waterfront ecosystem. The study's authors calculate that more than a billion people currently live in metro areas within 50 kilometers of seagrass habitat, a population that continues to grow. In the Salish Sea, Dungeness crab roam our lush seagrass prairies like scuttling buffalo as baby salmon shelter and feed within the waving blades. Look closer and you'll find an entire tiny world filled with nudibranchs and other invertebrates grazing amid these unique flowering marine plants. The planet seagrasses provide more than $7 trillion worth of economic benefits each decade. They protect our shorelines, sequester carbon, cycle nutrients, and support valuable fisheries. Previous work by this team discovered that tropical seagrass meadows can also reduce levels of dangerous bacteria carried by pollution flowing from the land into the sea. To follow up, they wanted to know whether seagrasses in temperate waters near a large city have that same ability. If so, they could help make some of our most important seafoods safer. To find the answer, researchers examined native Pacific blue mussels that were planted in 20 places around Seattle by Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife biologists as part of the National Mussel Watch program. Mussels and other bivalves make their living by filtering vast volumes of water to collect minuscule food particles. In the process, their tissues also concentrate whatever else is floating around. That makes them very useful as an early warning system for harmful algal blooms and pollutants. After these mussels marinated in Seattle seawater for three months, researchers sequenced what they found in their gills. The results were impressive. Mussels planted near seagrass meadows contain 65% less harmful bacteria than those feeding further away from seagrass. Mussels, clams, and oysters are some of our most important blue foods, which include everything fished or farmed in the aquatic environment. But healthy seafoods, especially filter feeders like these bivalves, need clean water to feed in, or they can absorb enough bad bugs to serve up a nasty dose of bacteria onto our dinner plates. Seagrasses already prevent an estimated 24 million GI infections every year, saving billions of dollars and many lives. But worldwide, we're losing these invaluable underwater gardens at the alarming rate of 7% a year. This new research shows that if we can extend urban greening efforts past our city shorelines by conserving and restoring seagrass ecosystems, the benefits, including safer blue foods and healthier waters, will be enormous.